Recently, neighboring countries rejected Uganda's grain food, claiming that it has a aflatoxin substance. To minimize on this challenge, the African Fertilizer and Agribusiness Partnership, AFAP, has sensitized and trained farmers in Budaka district on good post-harvest handling. The country manager, AFAP Uganda, Joel Kakaire, says this sensitization follows an assessment that showed farmers were incurring losses. When it comes to drying, it's drying on bare ground or is drying in a very poor state of a store. That means it's going to be affected by rats and in the store. That means you're losing every other day. Kakairi adds that farmers have welcomed the trainings and over 10,000 have benefited. And we've realized there has been an increase in yield, that is one, and then also an increase in the use of fertilizers across the country. Farmers are producing more of, uh, they're getting more yields, they have equally learned how to apply. Harriet Navier from Grain Council of Uganda says poor handling during harvests has led to price fluctuation of Uganda's food on world market. People are getting lower yields from their farms. So you know when you put in so little, huh, you don't put in much effort when you're planting. Even what you're going to get out will not give you much because the co your cost of production goes a bit higher. So you end up losing. The chairperson of EDD Rice Farmer Cooperative Society has advised farmers to join groups to prevent them from selling products at low prices. In the cooperative, we do rice. We call it momuchere. Season is mu. To funatan is bitan. In the cooperative, to turn that mu. Season B. To funatan is bitan. Kakati mumwa kumulamba. Some farmers share skills acquired after such trainings. We have learned how to manage uh, some of these crops after the harvest. Then we have also learned how to handle the gardens before harvesting. AFAP distributed fertilizers to farmers through groups to help in boosting soil fertility.